it says in the first um, in the first paragraph actually of the Old Testament, you know, the the foundation blocks of creation are um, chaos and desolation, tohu v'bohu, you know. So chaos and desolation are the building blocks. That's the real DNA of this whole uh, uh, manifestation. So, so yes, anybody who's going to do anything is going to be uh, uh, involved deeply with an examination of of panic or the 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 the, the, um, the fuel of panic, which is chaos and desolation. In the beginning, there was City TV, and it was good. And now, a City TV special presentation. Doing it right on the wrong side of Queen. I know a place that's on the wrong side of Queen. The booze bar is cooking and the sound of mighty mean. Well, Mike's kind of playing like a soul's on fire. Bob's moving like a rover on the telephone wire. The jets through the smoke heavy sky. Welcome to Music City. Tonight's Peter Goddard and Music Lead GRT recording artist, Dr. Music. And I'm wondering where the lions are. disc jockey at Chum Radio and then I came over to uh, City TV in 1979 to be the station announcer so I kept my job at Chum and was as well doing the, uh, the City TV uh, voiceover work uh, which Dan Aykroyd uh, also had done previous uh, to me and it was about that time that uh, Moses had this uh, idea for a sort of Rolling Stone magazine for television which was the new music and uh, I'd only been there for two or three months when we launched into that project. I think it started out, it was going to be a 13-week, half-hour show. Turned within three weeks, turned into 52 weeks a year, an hour, you know, an hour a week. Um, and nobody, and still nobody, is doing a show uh, in, the, in the manner that the new music originally was. Um, and it became a cult favorite. I'm Jenny Roberts. And I'm Jeannie Becker. For 18 hours, this was our home base as we watched Heat Wave unfold. Moses set the tone for every show that happened here. I didn't know it at the time, but it was only gradually that I became aware of uh, how his vision, if you like, was put into action. And City Limits was really a very much just another part of that, that vision. All right, I'm Hub from Tonnage, and I'm Wade from Bludgeon. Next week on City Limits on Much Music, Carnage Night in Canada. And then we added other music shows. We added uh, the Chump 30 and um, Toronto Rocks. Welcome back to Toronto Rocks Live on City TV. John Major here with you and my special guest, Kim Mitchell. Hi. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And then we were pretty well in good condition when the, when the license came up for Much. And lo, it came to pass that the regulators beckoned <laughs> unto the broadcasters and said, be fruitful and multiply and bring forth much Canadian content. So being the pioneer in specialty television and knowing the music idiom and industry intimately through Chum, City TV begat much music and much music begat much more music in turn. And still, it was good. I'm with it here, all right. All right, heck of a way to start a rock and roll show. Welcome to Much Music, everybody. I'm Denise Dom, and I'm your host tonight for a very special evening. We're just particles of change, I know, I know. Isn't it amazing you can do anything? There is a love that's inherently given. It was always Moses' dream that, or an, an idea that, you know, you're not a second-class citizen if you're a Canadian artist. You know, not everything great happens south of the border 
are overseas. There's some great talent here in Canada that can be explored, can be exploited, and can become popular. Hi! What? We're Bare Naked Ladies. Speaker's Corner, Speaker's Corner, go ahead and try your luck. We're a little too cheap to make our own videos. Be mine, 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 be this may be the last time you will see them as an unsigned act. Here's the maestro Fred West showing you. Full of Fred, T.O., you know what I'm saying? This how it goes. Tear it up now. I look at Moses Nimer as a catalyst to everything. You know, like when I see him, I see an entrepreneur. You know what I mean? And that's what I like. That's the type of people I like to gravitate towards, you know? And when I see that building, I just think every time I drive by, I just think of all the memories, what that meant for me. Because if it wasn't for, for that, if I wasn't in that location, at that specific time, you know, a lot of things in hip-hop right now in Canada wouldn't be the way it is. And so the commandment was made by Moses unto his flock. The music empire should be adapted into different languages. And so much music begat Music Plus, which begat Musimax. And still, it was good. Bonsoir, ici Sonia Benezra et bienvenue à l'émission. I realize now how fortunate I was to be the very first face of Music Plus and certainly about what it meant to Quebec television. I didn't realize then what an oddity I would appear to be, uh, but it was certainly pointed out when Moses Neimer initially uh, hired me. You know, people told him that perhaps he might want to choose somebody who was, you know, pure laine, which means purely Quebecois. And then uh, when he said that he categorically refused to do that, then he said, you know, no, I want this girl's face on the air. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the land of news, movies, and music, Chum City unveiled Bravo. And still, it was good. No, I don't know enough about you. In a certain sense, he's the the CPR of music. I mean, he he he, he he's the railroad of music. Uh, the, there's there's uh, never been uh, such a unity of uh, of appreciation of of uh, Canadian music. Nobody's ever done anything remotely like Moses has done. He's really he's really stretched the rail from you know one end of the country to the other. And so it is written, across the land, people were singing and dancing and giving thanks to Moses for a distinctly Canadian vibe. Thus endeth the verse. <laughs>